Alright, in this video I'll be showing you how to replace a broken LCD screen in your PSP. So first, you'll need to order a replacement screen online. I'd recommend uh, checking eBay for that. You can find them fairly cheap. So you'll need to order the replacement screen. Now be sure to get the correct replacement screen for your PSP model because the PSP 1000 has a different screen than the PSP 2000 which has a different screen than the PSP 3000 so if you get the incorrect screen this will not work so but anyways as you can tell I have the PSP 3000 you can tell from the back door there so. and you'll also need a small Phillips screwdriver to take your PSP apart so, so let's get started Alright, so as you can see, the screen is cracked, so it's still working other than that. So first, you can shut off the power, then remove the battery cover, remove the battery. Then next, you'll need to remove the screws. There are two under the battery cover. There's normally a sticker under the under this bottom screw but I've removed the sticker already I've taken this PSP apart before to customize the buttons and the analog stick so but yeah you can remove this two underneath the battery two on this side two on top and one on the bottom so Alright, once you've removed all the screws, you can just lift up on the faceplate, and it should come right up. And there it is. Now, to remove the screen, first you'll have to remove the, the buttons here, the, which you can just lift up on the corner, and they pop right off. Sure. But be careful not to damage anything. So. And it disconnects from the motherboard. Shouldn't have been so easy. You can pry up on the screen, lift it up. Okay, that's where the motherboard or the the buttons were connected to the motherboard there. And for the screen, you can just flip that up and flip this down and the ribbon connector should come disconnected and you just remove the entire screen all right and open the replacement screen ribbon connectors back in. And flip this clip down. And flip that down. And put this screen clip this the screen back in there. Okay. And if you have a 3000 model, you want to be careful with the microphone. And slide the buttons under there. And connect the buttons ribbon back to the motherboard. You want to be careful, or you want to make sure that they're connected and you have the thing flipped down, otherwise the button connectors will just come right out like they did before. Alright, you put the screen down, the mic on top, and then the buttons 
button strip should clip right in there and basically hold the screen in there as well. Alright. Of course, odds are you've gotten fingerprints and stuff all over the screen, so I'd recommend using some glass cleaner and like a paper towel or tissue. I do not spray glass cleaner directly onto the screen, especially with the PSP disassembled like this. So, make sure to wipe up fingerprints or dust or anything on there. Alright. Now, before we reassemble it, let's pop the battery in and make sure everything's connected properly. Look at that. New screen works perfectly. Right, so let's shut it off, remove the battery. Alright, let's finish reassembling it. Just put the faceplate back on there. Make sure everything lines up. Clip, click it back together. Buttons are good, analog sticks good. Alright, so just put all the screws back in from before. Alright, once your uh, PSP is put back together, and you want to reinstall the battery and the battery cover. Uh, the faceplate screen might also be dirty, so you can clean it the same way you clean the actual screen. So, alright. There it is. Nice new screen. And also to prevent uh, you from breaking your screen again, you may also want to get uh, a wrist strap. So just add that. As you can see, this is actually a Wii's wrist strap, so very reliable. And you can also get a carrying case. It's a lot. It's pretty durable. So, as you can see, prevention is a lot easier than replacement. So. Alright, so there you go. Enjoy the new screen on your PSP. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Thank you for watching.